Well, Hollywood is in mourning tonight for US cult actor Rip Torn, who has died at the age of 88, a star of stage and screen. He first came to prominence in the 1960s before experiencing a career resurgence decades later thanks to his Emmy-winning role in The Larry Sanders Show. But as Manny Tsikas reports, he was just as well known for his wild antics off-screen. You may not remember his name, but chances are he's jumped out in something you've seen. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Any other questions? Rip Torn's career spanned seven decades across stage, television and film. Born in Texas, he moved to New York to study acting, joining a long list of post-war performers praised for bringing a tense realism to their craft. That's it. You make a statement? No. Want to make one now? Yeah. I didn't know it was loaded. It's very hard work. Okay. You just try to create characters. And I always used to start with how somebody walks. Yeah. I said, look at, look at the way that everybody walks different. By the late 60s, his background as a method actor led to a number of experimental projects. His role in the mainly improvised production Maidstone saw him legitimately attack its star, writer and director Norman Mailer. <laughs> His fiery reputation was sealed after a row with Dennis Hopper over a role in the landmark picture Easy Rider. Hopper would later claim Torn was so angry about being replaced by Jack Nicholson, he pulled a knife on him at a restaurant. Torn later successfully sued him for slander. She loves that animal. Still have to be shot. By the early 70s, his career hit a dry spell, though he did score a surprise Oscar nomination for his supporting role in 1983's Cross Creek. He experienced a resurgence by turning to comedy, playing the foul-mouthed talk show producer Artie in the television series The Larry Sanders Show. Hey. In other words, you haven't heard from him. Hey, Artie, I didn't know you were there. I'm his interpreter. I speak fluent bullshit. The role won him an Emmy and a path back to high-profile productions from Men in Black and Dodgeball to Wonder Boys and 30 Rock. He kept working even after a number of run-ins with the law, mostly surrounding drink driving. His publicist says he died peacefully at his home surrounded by family but gave no cause of death. Rip Torn is survived by his third wife and six children, one of them a successful stage actress. Manny Sigas, ABC News.